Welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. I actually just be oh now Navi is speaking so I can show Navi dive. Uh, I guess I can actually show that right here if I can climb the freaking crap up. Oh, damn it. All right, I'll show it over here real quick. Right here is a good spot. I'll just run up the wall. That's okie dokie. Just I'll just show really quick what this Navi dive crap is I'm talking about. If I can just make sure I'm very careful. There we go. So you climb up and check it out. Check it out. This is, this is very simple. You do you pull out your sword when you have the edge like this. Whoops. Oh yeah, you pull your Oh, whoops, I skipped a stop or a step. Uh I forgot. Um, what the hell was it? Oh right, I remember now. Pull your sword, then you have to press it again really quick. Then you have to press Navi. Aw, oh, it's not working there. That sucks. Unless I did it wrong, I don't know. I probably did something wrong unless that spot just doesn't work. I'll try one more time. Ah, never mind. Screw it. Well, there are some spots where it works. And apparently that's not one. Or I did something wrong. I don't know. I was a pain in the ass doing that anyways. But when you're supposed to do, you pull out your sword, I, I guess I kind of skipped a step where you have to jump attack. You have to pull out your sword, jump attack super quick. Then you press up, C stick, button, whatever, to speak to Navi. And make the map go away. And I have to go to Lake Hylia now. And you can see there's that's closed, but that's normal because it's nighttime. So you guys don't know what's going on unless you play through the game. Uh, you don't even know there's something going, whoops, going on until I spoiled... Say okay now you might notice there's something going on because it's super dark, but that's okay. I'm running. I'm running backwards because it's faster than rolling Yeah, believe it or not everyone thinks rolling is faster, but it's actually slower uh, Good thing about rolling is you can actually turn 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 but this one whoops. Yeah, and you can see where you're going too. this one can't and check it out It's almost daytime That's cool. So they're gonna go away Okay, they already went away, so no more are going to pop up, right? Yeah, no more are going to pop up. But that's okay, there's other threats. Other stupid threats. Jerk evil threats. And, oh good, I'm almost there. So, wait, where the hell am I? Oh, that's where I am. Let's just roll from here. I should have probably gone over there to start, or before or starting this part, whatever. Why, well, I guess now you're going to see the emptiness that is Hyrule Field. It's super empty. Termina Field does a much better job at filling stuff up and giving things to do. That's another thing that I like about Majora's Mask far better than this game. They're both good games. Majora's Mask is just better. It's just better. If you like Majora's Mask and you don't like Ocarina of Time, that makes sense to me. If you like Ocarina of Time... And you don't like Majora's Mask, that doesn't make sense to me. If you like Ocarina of Time, you're probably going to like Majora's Mask. It's a lot better. And I'm going to actually make it nighttime first, because it needs to be nighttime. So let's go ahead and use my trusty Ocarina. And Sun Song. Sun Song to make it nighttime, because it needs to be dark. So I can get a spider kill right there. I just gotta go to the Lawn Lawn Ranch for another spider. And I gotta go to Kakariko Village Graveyard for another spider. Hang on. Uh, planting a bean. Cause I kinda need to plant the bean. My own. And let me see. I know there's multiple secrets here. Those screw off sign. Okay, there's a rock. Okay, there's a box over there. I don't know, but I think if I do this right, no, I can't. I'm going to have to return here a second time to get that box. Because in that box, I'm pretty sure is a piece of heart. I don't remember. But I think it is. And the first one I want to go to is the waterfall, but I guess I'll go to the box first. I'll go through the box first. Because if I'm very lucky, maybe, maybe I can go from the box over to the waterfall. I don't know, though. 
I doubt it, but I'm going to try. Okay, there we go. Come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, crap. Crap, crap. Crap, crap, crap. I'm gonna have to return here. I'm, I screwed up. I was pressing B like a dumbass. Hey, aww. Yeah, and he can't swim against that, which kind of sucks. Kind of sucks. Kind of really sucks. <laughs> that was great. <laughs> that was great. Okay, let's go all the way to Lake Hylia. Do the thing I have to do there real quick. And I'm not doing the fishing game until I'm an adult. I'm not doing the uh, kid fishing game either because that's just for a piece of heart. And the adult fishing game I'm going to do off camera. Because that is incredibly boring. Incredibly boring. And I might not do it at all actually because it's not even needed. So... Hmm, yeah, I'm not even going to do that at all. So here's one spot to plant. Hooray! There we go! Uh, you don't even need to do that. You can just use hookshot. But I do that anyways. And go way over here. And take out my ocarina again. There we go. And go way over and speak to this bottom scarecrow. Because he's a jerk. And I gotta speak to him. Hello! I'm not gonna read what you say, but I'm gonna play the song. So this, you can use any melody you want. Just try something simple like this. There we go! Simple, simple. It cannot be one note. It has to be multiple. And the faster you enter it, the faster it will play, making it a lot easier to use later on in the game in the multiple areas where you can use it for a little extra secret spot, which is cool. Uh, one of them also requires the long shot, but that is in the second dungeon as adult Link. And I'm not going to worry about that yet. So let's go over here and actually got to get out my bombs because there's another secret to get. Hooray for secrets! Oh yeah, I guess... Yeah, there is one spot you can use the golden scale for. And if you go to the laboratory, you have to have the golden scale dive all the way down as adult Link. And you go all the way back up and you get rewarded with a piece of heart. Just don't use the iron boots to try and attempt it because it's cheating and it won't work. And seriously, it'll just not count it or something. Or something! Kablooey! And back to the ocarina. Here we go. And roll! Hooray! Then I gotta go back to Gerudu Valley. And this guy still has a piece of heart. Hello, jerk! Give me what I want! One piece of heart, town real pays. I pressed B that time, which was an accident, but I still got it, so that's cool. And of course, you always get three back, so whatever. And leaving the little spot. And I'm gonna go this way. Awesome, backflip super high over a fence, which was kind of cool. That was the highest backflip freaking ever. And I don't think I can shoot that from over here because this joystick aiming kind of sucks. I almost could. I almost could. Yeah, I'm not even going to try. I don't think the pellet even goes that far. Oh, well. And it's setting stuff after me, too. So that sucks. That sucks. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. Going all the way over this way, ignoring all the enemies that are chasing me. Probably got a few of them. There's one thing. Two, three. Plus those two, so there's five enemies after me. Which is kind of messed up. And, okay, now there's less than five because those other things die. They can only fly so far before they hit the ground. They just lower constantly. But they're annoying. Kind of annoying. And when you get close to those giant pea hats, that's, that's the thing that was flying that I was trying to shoot. When you get close to them, they will kind of attack you themselves instead of sending stuff after you. So make sure you don't get too close to them because actually dealing with them up close is annoying unless you know how. 
Uh, because they can hit around the, your shield. And we way over to this waterfall. Actually, there's a seed over here. A, a seed spot. I bit my tongue. And it kind of made me stutter. But there's a spot to plant a seed over here. <laughs> that was great. Uh, he, he tried to grab it on and he, he was repeatedly trying to grab onto the wall. That was great. Yeah, anyways, there's a seed spot here. And, um... Yeah. It, it just leads right to this little piece of heart. What the hell? <laughs> it's stuck in the wall. That's great. I've never seen that happen before. Piece of heart. Now, I want to see... Because she's speaking to me. Maybe... Oh. Well, maybe if I go right here. Okay. Oh. Sword away. Huh. I guess it's gonna be. Yeah, it's gonna be a spot you can't really hold on. Or something. Guy sucks. Wonder if this spot will work. I wanna show that glitch, dude. I wanna show the glitch. I do. I really wanna show the glitch. Oh, I did it wrong. I did it wrong. I did it wrong. Damn. Or something. I don't know what happened there. I think yeah, what happens is the animation will step back every time you use the jump attack. And so, you use the jump attack, you go forward a little bit, but the end of the animation makes you step back, so you fall straight back off. And when you're speaking to Navi, the animation will continue and you'll fall straight down underwater. And you won't have a time limit to your breath or anything because you'll be in the middle of a conversation and stuff will happen. So, whatever. That's how that glitch works. I just failed trying to get it to work. Because, uh, I don't know, I suck at doing that, I guess. Oh, <laughs> well. Anyways. That is the end of this part. What am I doing next? I gotta go to Lawn Lawn Ranch. So on the next part, I'll be over at Lawn Lawn Ranch. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, feel free to comment, like, subscribe, and share. And I will see you guys on the next part or some other video. But until then... I will see you guys later. Goodbye, everyone. As I make another stupid face. Bye.